Hi, this is Kogi from Kogi.in and here is the unboxing and review of Carbon Titanium S2. The box pack. Unlike the other handsets in the Titanium series, the Carbon S2 is powered by the MediaTek processor MT6589W quad-core processor. You also get a flip cover free. It is 1.2 GHz quad-core running on 4.2 jelly bean 5 inch fw vga screen 8 mp rear 2 mp front 512 mb ram 4 gb internal storage 2100 mah battery supports 3g gps wi-fi proximity accelerometer light sensors bluetooth and dual sim support here is the handset we'll have a look at this later Inside the box you will find this flip cover of a good quality. Here is a closer view of the inside and the outside. The battery of uh, 2100 mAh capacity. The power adapter, data cable and the earphone. The traditional carbon earphone white color the clinic user guide and here is the handset the rear side is with a glossy white finish the thickness is 9.9 mm and the weight is around 186 grams the three touch sensitive buttons and the mic and on the top the sensor the in-call speaker and the camera of 2 MP resolution. On the rear, the speaker out, the carbon logo and the 8 MP autofocus camera with LED flash. On the top side, there is the micro USB port and next to it, the 3.5 mm audio jack. On the right side, you'll find the power lock button and on the left side, the volume rockers. The side view, white glossy panel silver side followed by the back cover let's open up the battery compartment you'll find the SAR value mentioned there it's a dual sim handset dual sim with dual standby sim 1 sim 2 and the micro sd card slot let's power on this device the carbon logo is to titanium and uh, here is the animation And here is the home screen. The performance looks good. Touch is smooth and responsive. In the phone dialer, there is the video call option. Model number and Android version 4.2.1. Wi-Fi hotspot and USB tethering is supported. There is no Bluetooth tethering. Automatic brightness. Internal storage is 0 0.90 GB free of the 512 MB RAM you get 206 MB free the viewing angle is okay it's not really good as you can see here let's check out the hardware system information ARMv7 processor clocked at 1.2 GHz quad core MT6589 it is with the MT6589W chipset the resolution is 854 by 480 pixels and the GPU is PowerVR SGX 544MP. As for the sensors, there is accelerometer, proximity light and orientation and magnetic sensor. I have connected my pen drive using the OTG cable and uh, there is no response. OTG is not supported. There is no magnetic sensor either. Quadrant benchmark score is 3986, Antutu score is uh, 13575, Vilamo HTML is 1386, Metal is 430. Nina Mark 2 41.5 FPS. This handset supports 5 point multi touch. This is the camera app, the 8 MP rear autofocus camera with LED flash. You can even tap to focus. Here are the settings. 8 MP resolution, preview size full screen, you get uh, 6 MP resolution in uh, video mode, you can change it to fine to be able to record in 
720p resolution this is a mt6589 w chipset it cannot record full hd videos okay i've started the recording and we'll test this in mx player this is the mx player tool properties and as you can see it's 720p at uh, 30 frames per second you can install apps on the external storage i have uh, downloaded the game nova 3 and as you can see it's working pretty smooth the handset does look good from the distance but uh, when you look closely you'll find that the build quality and the finishing is not really good here you can see the gap the gap is clearly visible it is near the micro usb port but there is one more gap at the bottom almost all of the handsets come uh, with a black border around the screen but on the s2 you can see a thin border here and just compare it with the border on the right side which seems a little more thicker the border on the right side is thicker than the other sides it looks a little odd the carbon titanium s2 sports a 5 inch screen with 512 mb ram running on the jellybean 4.2 os it is powered by mt6589w chipset you cannot record full hd videos but you can play full hd videos using mx player with software mode this answer is priced at rupees 10200 however the build quality is not that good